for just a moment. Hedge funds in particular, if you take a look at the positioning data, seem to be now turning net positive of gold. It's only a small little move to the upside in terms of the positioning. Uh, is there a sense, though, that more will follow? I think that we've seen in notes this uh, the start of the year that people are quite optimistic about uh, gold uh, this year. Clearly, we had a really good rally in gold prices in the last quarter. And as you mentioned, overnight before this uh, uh, risk on move we've seen this morning, that uh, gold reached a $1,300 uh, uh, ounce barrel of ounce price for the first time in a while. Some people are looking for gold this year to go even higher to 1400 That would be a really significant move because we haven't seen uh, gold trade at those prices uh, right. for more than five years. It's been extremely range bound in its trading. So uh, that's what we will be looking for, Tom. I want to show that. This has been really, really important. Will Kennedy, of course, nails it. Absolutely. Let's bring up the chart here. This is of gold. This is spot gold uh, out of London, which uh, everybody in London and a lot of pros look at as well. The big move in gold up four years ago. And here's this massive range that we've been in. Does gold go higher because of the microeconomics of gold in mining? Does gold Gold, gold higher because of fear? What's the catalyst to finally have the gold bulls see it break out of the range? It's all going to depend on the economy. I don't think the micro gold mining dynamics are driving the market right now, Tom. It's all about whether we are going to see that global slowdown that we've seen in some of the economic data uh, at the start of this year and whether policymakers will be able to respond. If we do get a, a really sticky economy, uh, a lot of analysts are saying that could be the catalyst to drive gold towards and perhaps even above that $1,400 uh, an ounce level that I mentioned. So... One thing that's been unfortunate is cryptocurrencies have not been treated the same. I've mentioned in previous videos that I thought that uh, gold and silver would be similar to cryptocurrencies or vice versa, that it would be a commodity and in the bear market, they would start to show signs of strength. We haven't seen that. And like I said, it's still not a fully realized asset class, so it might take time, but it's important to pay attention. And if you don't have a diversified portfolio, I do highly recommend uh, owning some sort of precious metals in your portfolio. So if you are very heavy crypto, if your portfolio is maybe 50% crypto or higher and you don't own any precious metals, it would be a good idea. I would highly consider rebalancing your portfolio and getting some precious metals into your uh, investments. And there's plenty of ETFs you can hold. Um, the ones I would recommend is GLD or SLV, both of them are uh, funds that should uh, do well in a bear market in a global slowdown and continue to watch cryptocurrencies but uh, it might be a while before cryptos begin to m monitor or to trade like um, assets like gold or commodities like uh, oil or silver but let me know your thoughts on this and i will talk to you soon